Beauty, I post videos about art and creativity and sketching and watercolour and lots of other things. If you're wondering why it's a complete mess behind me, that is because I am moving my art studio slash office space to downstairs. You may have seen another video that I posted when I first moved into this house and I was in the study nook and setting everything up and building a tiny study space. So I've been in the study nook for a year now. We've decided it's time to switch rooms. So if you're interested in seeing how I set up this new studio space in a bigger room that actually has a door that I can shut, then keep watching. So here's the room as it originally looked. Ignore all the mess, it was just completely messy from moving, switching rooms. So the sofa was originally here and I decided to move it over here so that you could see it when you walked in the room. Then this little Kmart desk was on this side of the room but I decided to move it to the other side of the room. And then I decided to add some storage space so to keep those shoes in and also just some extra storage space. So I'm gonna add a locker there. Then I'm also going to add an art station on this side where the sofa used to be so that's where I'll do most of my art because hopefully the sunlight will be coming through so that'll be nice to have that there. It's been a couple of weeks since I last filmed. I wanted to get everything all finished and nice before I did the final tour. This is a locker that I got from a brand called Artisan and this is just storing uh, some shoes and also some packaging materials because I'm actually launching an online store soon so I just have all my packaging materials and stickers and things like that in there. In the shelves it just has some bits and bobs up there, my handbag, these are all my sketchbooks from the Earth Sketch Challenge, so I like to have them there. And my collection of art books, which is always nice. And then we just got some more sketchbooks here. How cool is this lamp? It has a LED bulb in it, so I can change the color of the light. This is my favorite area of the room. I have <laughs> never had a sofa with loads of nice cushions on it before, so I just really wanted to, I don't know, just have lots of cushions. I like to sit here and sometimes I just work on the sofa so it's nice to have a nice sofa to do that on. And then this area is my art station so this is where I do all my painting. I feel like since I've been in here I've been trying out so many different mediums so I've been doing silk painting. I've also started doing acrylics as well so I think because I've got more space now it's just I feel able to work in more mediums than just watercolour and I also just have the space here for my tripod to go next to my painting and I have my ring light there and then I can just put my phone in there which is very handy for filming overhead shots and you can see that I've definitely been using this space as a bit of a mess I probably need to clean it up a bit but um, I guess that's just how worktop ends up when you've been painting a lot and so I've got all of my paints here, which I love, and a little mirror ball planter <laughs> with a fake plant in it. So I've got gouache, and then I've got all my watercolors here, and then these are my acrylics, and then at the bottom I've got oils. I do also have more paints down here, so these are all my fluid acrylic paints, and also there are some more in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got a bit of a problem with buying paint. I have an addiction. Then in these drawers I have sort of silk painting stuff in there, then I have sketching and watercolour stuff in there, then I have all of my surfaces and boards and canvases that I haven't painted on yet. This is a slightly messy tech drawer which is just full of all of my cables and things. If anyone has any ideas of how to organise this better let me know because I just sort of shove everything in there. And then at the bottom these are all actually paintings that I have completed that I don't know where to put. And then finally I do also have a desk here which is just for me to work at because I do also have a normal person job so I do all my work here and also editing 
YouTube videos and all the other bits and bobs that go along with doing all my art stuff. And I do also have a drop sheet on the floor, which has been really handy. I just got this from Bunnings. It just is like a waterproof drop sheet. So <laughs> because there is carpet on the floor, the only other final thing I have left to do in this room is to hopefully fill this wall up with prints and originals from some artists that I love and that inspire me because the, the wall is looking a little bit bare at the moment and also this line is really distracting me and annoying and I don't know why it's there but yeah that is my plan to fill up this wall with some stuff that inspires me. So that is my art studio tour. It's a bit of an upgrade from my previous one in Study Nook. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in the next video.